In this opportunity, we are going to talk about real estate terminal values. In a previous video, it was argued that the traditional approach for valuing income properties was incompatible with the risks associated with the different cash flow streams composing the free cash flow. Basically, because the traditional approach discounts the free cash flow using the gross yield implied discount rate, whereas this discount rate actually does not apply to the other uh, components of the cash flow. Because of this, we proposed an alternative procedure that discounts each cash flow category at its corresponding discount rate. In this presentation, we follow the same approach to estimate the terminal value when it is assumed as the present value of a growing perpetuity. There are basically three alternatives to quantify the terminal value of a real estate uh, commercial property. First, replacement cost. The re replacement cost of the property is estimated at the end of the horizon, taking into account the accumulated depreciation over uh, the period. Second method is multiples, usually the gross yield. The value of the property in, at, the, at, last year, at the last year of the projection is estimated as the multiplication of the estimated gross potential income the first year of the perpetuity multiplied by the gross yield. And the other method is perpetuities, which is actually the most common. In this presentation, we will focus on perpetuities. In our case, the present value of the perpetuity is represented as the sum of the present values of each of several components. The first component is adjusted potential gross income after the horizon. We will explain later. The second is periodic, periodic expenses and recoveries. The third, major maintenance. And the last is integral refurbishment costs. Let's elaborate on each one of them. First, adjusted potential gross income. Basically, the, the, the present value of this component at the end of the horizon is represented by the potential gross income plus other income minus losses, basically vacancies, and taxes. And this grows with, uh, with, uh, with inflation in perpetuity. To this present value, we should add the present value of the depreciation tax shield, which is discounted at the risk-free rate. So we can see the formula corresponding to this present value of the, the present value of this component is this one here. The present value of adjusted gross potential income has two components. The first term corresponds to this uh, adjusted uh, gross potential income discounted at the gross yield. And the second component is simply the present value of the depreciation tax yield. Well, the second uh, component of the perpetuity is expenses and recoveries. Expenses and recoveries after the horizon must be, must be discounted at the risk-free rate as a perpetuity growing at a certain rate, usually the inflation rate. We include recoveries in this uh, component and we discount recoveries at the risk-free rate as well. However, in rigor, recoveries is correlated with gross potential income. So in rigor, the, the cash flow corresponding to recoveries should be discounted at a rate some, somewhere between the risk-free rate and the uh, implied, uh, implied uh, rate, the rate implied in the, gross poten in the gross yield. However, given that recovery is usually is not that significant, uh, we simplify by adding this, uh, this uh, item to uh, periodic expenses. But the last components are major maintenance and integral refurbishment. Let's start with integral refurbishment. We assume that refurbishment takes place every T years, and the first refurbishment is at year M after the horizon. 
refurbishment cost at M is expressed as CIRM. It can be shown that the present value of the refurbishment cost at year N, meaning the last year of the, of the projection, is given by this formula. You can see that this formula also has two components. The first component corresponds to the cost associated with integral refurbishment after taxes. And the second component corresponds to the depreciation tax shield. We can see the uh, meaning of the different variables. N is the horizon time, the time of the projection in years. M is the year in which the first integral refurbishment takes place. G is the growth rate, usually inflation. CIRM, we already explained, is the cost of integral refurbishment at year M. TC is the corporate tax rate. T is the, the frequency in which integral refurbishment takes place. PIR is the percentage of total depreciation that corresponds to integral refurbishment. And DN is depreciation in year N, total depreciation. Well, major maintenance uh, can be expressed with a similar formula. We just use the information for the cost of major maintenance in the first year in which major maintenance takes place. Let's illustrate with a numerical example. Let's think of a property whose projection takes place during five year, 15 years, and then the perpetuity starts in year 16. Adjusted gross potential income is 8 million in year 16. The corporate tax rate is 30%, gross yield is 7%. Expenses and recoveries in the first year of the perpetuity, meaning in year 16, are 120,000. Major maintenance, the first year it takes place, in this case, the last year of the projection, year 15, is 2 million. Integral rehabilitation is 25 million in year 30, which is the first year it takes place. Risk-free rate is 5%. Inflation rate is 2%. The total depreciation charge in year 16 is 100,000. The percentage of depreciation corresponding to major maintenance is 20% and the percentage corresponding to uh, integral refurbishment is, uh, is uh, 80%. The frequency, the frequency of the major maintenance and first rehabilitation is given here. Frequency for uh, maintenance is every 10 years, and for, for uh, rehabilitation is every 30 years. And uh, the first maintenance, as uh, we said before, takes place in year 15, and the first rehabilitation takes place in year 30. So we use the formulas we explained before to calculate the present value of the terminal value. First, we calculate the present value of adjusted gross potential income. And we do it by uh, separating the two terms. First, the first term corresponds to the gross potential income, adjusted gross potential income after taxes discounted at the gross yield and that will give us the present value in year 15. And the second term, which is 600,000, corresponds to the depreciation tax shield discounted at the risk-free rate. Then we discount these two terms to year zero, and we obtain the present value of adjusted gross potential income as 22,251,654. Then we come to the risk-free cash flows. First, expenses and recoveries is 4 million in year 15. And we calculated it, as we said before, by discounting expected expenses and recoveries in year 16 as a growing perpetuity, a perpetuity that grows with inflation and discounted at the risk free rate. The amount is 4 million in year 15, the last year of the projection. Major maintenance is calculated using the formula that we explained before, with the two terms. One term corresponds to major maintenance costs, and the second term corresponds to the depreciation tax yield. And the result is 5,683,433 in year 15, that is, the last year of the projection. Internal rehabilitation is calculated also using similar formula, okay, with the two terms, and we obtain in year 15 a value of 
7,222,054. Well, then we just add all these numbers, all these results, and we discount back to year zero, obtaining the present value of the outflows, which is 11,739,457. The present value of the terminal value will be just the difference between these two numbers. 22,251,000 minus the 11,739,000. So the present value of the terminal value at year zero is 10,512,197. So now the conclusions. In this presentation, it has been shown how, when represented as a growing perpetuity, the terminal value of an income property can be estimated as the sum of four perpetuities. Adjusted gross potential income, periodic expenses and recoveries, major maintenance, and integral refurbishment costs. And that's all I wish uh, to share with you today. Thank you.